first of all, this is that video message where we know the group Boko Haram is claiming responsibility for the abduction of more than 200 schoolgirls from the school in the Borno state. This, of course, happened April 14th. Now, you see here in this video, which runs about an hour long, they are carrying automatic rifles. In the video, you can also see them shooting them in the air. Now, the particular message, the man you see speaking here, Abu Bakr Shakao, he's the militant leader. Part of the message that you're hearing in this particular video is, I abducted your girls by Allah. I will sell them in the marketplace. So there is the threat uh, that is being stated in that particular video. Now, again, just a reminder that, as you mentioned, it was widely believed that this Islamist group was behind the abduction uh, of actually 300, nearly 300 girls, according to police. Some did manage to escape. About 270 uh, remain missing at this stage. This happened April 14th. It's now entering the fourth week that none of those girls have been located. Now, again, this group, Boko Haram, means Western education is forbidden or sinful. Some more interesting details that we've learned. An intermediary uh, who has spoken to the Associated Press, um, granted that they, he would remain anonymous, has said these details, that Boko Haram is ready to negotiate ransoms for the girls, also said two of the girls have died of snakebite and about 20 are ill. He said Christians among the girls have been forced to convert to Islam. So those are the, some of the new details that we are learning this hour about uh, the Boko Haram claims that they are now saying they were responsible for the kidnapping. I also want to ask you about another development today. One of the people who was leading the protests over the abduction of these girls is now being detained herself. What's the latest there? Well, these are protest pictures from today. We know that this has fueled more anger. So the allegations that we're talking about here were made by two main protesters. Uh, now, we should also point out that this came about before Boko Haram actually claimed responsibility for the abductions. This is one of the lead protesters, another lead protester or organizer of the the protesters are saying that they were actually detained, ordered to be detained by the First Lady of Nigeria, Patience Jonathan here, and uh, they said that she accused them of being part of Boko Haram, said that they had no right to protest, that they were making the President, John good luck Jonathan, look bad and that they should stop those actions. And we will continue to follow this story to see whether or not that position or those allegations have changed since the Islamist group has come forward claiming responsibility.